Hi guys, and today I'm going to be looking at some Paul McCartney archive collection sets, more specifically the first three, McCartney, Band and Run, and McCartney 2. Make sure to like and subscribe, hit that bell, share the video, and comment on what you think I should review next. So this, so we're getting into the Band and Run set. Um. So, at the top of the box set, you have the original cover of the album, and at the bottom, you have the words Paul McCartney Archive Collection with his signature. Nothing much on the back. You do get the number of the set. This is 47,932nd Bush copy. He doesn't have the amount. Now, there's no amount that you can get, so I don't know how many of these were made, but that wasn't one of them, my copy. Let's open the set, and it's presented in a book-like state, with a bunch of with pages so you have. So, basically, it's written almost like a full-on book. Like, I'm not joking, like, this is literally, following this introduction, so you actually get, like, it's literally a film book and it's amazing. Like these are maybe some this might be like for the album that you are have in the set. You have like a very good detailed story of it and I really love that. I'm not gonna spend too much time on the book because um yeah and I'll take literally forever on like some previous ones I've looked at. So yeah, it's just time for skipping multiple pages. After all of the book, we now get to the lyrics page. And what you get here is just the lyrics to all the songs on the album and then you have the credits up later anyway so now though i said there was nothing on the back this was originally on the back though i have put it to the end of the book so this is basically a quick blurb about what is included and what this collection really is so again, this was the first one in the Archive Collection, released in 2011. With four discs, three CDs, two DVDs, numbered delu deluxe edition. And the features are the original nine-track album, nine bonus tracks, the master documentary disc, DV a DVD, and a downloadable, um, downloadable code. And of course, the 120-page book. So this is the first CD, which is the original album, and these are the tracks on it. This is a bonus disc with all the bonus tracks, and the, here's the tracks, which includes Helen Wheels and its B-side. Helen Wheels was on the uh, original album in the US, but it's not counted. Um, a bunch of songs from their special One Hand Clapping and Zoo Gang, which was like the B say to one of the tracks. I'm pretty sure. I forgot which one. This is the audio documentary. Nothing much to say about this one. This was originally included on the 25th anniversary release, and that would be 1998. This was 2010. And this is the bonus DVD, and these are the contents of the bonus DVD. So now we're into the McCartney set, and again, cover on the front, name, the set, name, and Paul McCartney signature on the back. And, and then down on the back, we have the number. So this is the 21st, 673rd copy, and nothing much else. So now we get into the book as seen previously with, um, Band on the run. Okay. 
And of course, at the end, you have the lyrics to well, the songs that have lyrics. And of course, just the copyright and credit for um, the, the set. And then we have the thing at the back. And this is the second release in the set. The original 13 track album, seven previously unreleased bonus tracks, a DVD, a DVD and a digital download code, plus the 128 page book. This is the part with all the CDs, and you notice there's some cardboard bits that aren't included with the rest of the set. So this is just um, seeing things I mentioned um, earlier. This sort of thing is included at the front of the box if you know me from my other unboxing videos. So this, so this right here is the original album. And this is the track listing. And then, and then we get to the second disc, which includes the downloadable code. I'm not going to turn this to the back, so I don't potentially reveal it. And this is the second disc. And this is the track listing. It includes mono and some outtakes, as well as um, songs from One Hand Clapping and their performance in Glasgow. Then we, then we get to the third disc, which the thing in this is the other titles available, which, you know, I'm covering at the moment. And... On the back, you see all the future releases, which of course came out in uh, 2012, 2013, and 2014. Yeah, so, you can, so yeah, this is good, so you can keep up with what's coming out. And this is the DVD. And this is what is included. Now, we're going to get into McCartney 2. Can cover on the album on the front, Paul McCartney archive collection, and his signature. And of course, on the back, we have the number of the set, which is the 19,153rd. So, again, the contents though seems to be a thing with this copy where. This is just mine, um, where the flap here is too big so the book doesn't fully open. So yeah, that's uh, quite annoying. Only now is it actually sort of sitting down. And now it's the other side is not sitting down. And of course at the back you have the lyrics. Because at the back of yourself with the copyright stuff. Yes, so of course this is the third release with a with a four disc with three discs, one DVD, with the original eleven track album, six in bonus tracks, a DVD, a digital download code, and the one hundred and twenty eight page book. And then at the back, 
we have the CDs. So the first one is the remastered album. And this is the track listing. This is CD2. And we have the second CD2, which includes B-sides, some live versions, and this is CD3. And then this is the track listing for CD2, which is the, which mostly is the original full length versions. I heard that this was originally going to be a double album, so these are probably the versions that would be on it. And this is the bonus DVD. And this is what in, is included. So yeah, here's my short thoughts. Again, 10 years old, probably not going to include product links for them. Do I like them? Yes. I like the books. The bonus material though, is not the best. Though he has some prov it, it, proved it in later sets. But well, when he released sets. Um, but outside of that, I, but I do like collecting it, them, uh, and it generally, I do find the sets to be fun. I just don't recommend you go back and buy these and just buy, like, modern day remasters of them. That's be the final ma nine. Remember to like, subscribe, ring that bell, share, and comment what you think I should do next. And that's me out. Anyway, this is Beta Final 9. Make sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell, share, and comment on what you think I should do next. And anyway, bye guys.